when they reconfigured the Big East, they didn't know that these Midwestern powers would bring such zeal to it, but they have. The Xavier Musketeers are at home today, making their way out against number 19, Creighton. The Blue Jays were just a second away from the Final Four a year ago. And as you look at the standings this season, although they've lost two in a row, they are very much a part of the championship race, looking for yet another March in the month of March. But look it up at UConn, Marquette, and Seton Hall. We begin our day on Fox Sports today with a magnificent tip-off. It should be a lot of fun. And they brought the game ball from the very top of Cintas Center today. And we look forward to bringing it to you. What a magnificent setting for this matchup. And alongside Robbie Hummel, and uh, I'm happy to say, even at this stage of my career, there's someone that I've not worked with yet, <laughs> and it's you, pal. Yes. Enjoy the ride. It yes, should totally. be a great one. Two teams that really need W's today. Xavier's won three in a row. Creighton's lost two in a row. Well, and the way that Creighton has lost, back-to-back -back heartbreaking losses for the Blue Jays. Their defense has to be better, but they have scored points <laughs> and done it in bunches. For Xavier, they've found ways to win over the last three games. This could be a preview of that 4-5 game in the Absolutely. Big East tournament. And for yeah. this game today, the opportunity opportunity for the ever elusive quad one victory for both teams indeed let's take a look at the starting lineups for this afternoon's game sponsored by Jeep there's only one Creighton will go with Ashworth the transfer Alexander Shireman Miller Hulk Kalkenbrenner these these are the big three for them Xavier counters with McKnight Oliveri who's been off the charts the last three games Claude Namishka and Usman an outstanding defender of the 10 down low. That'll be a fun matchup between he and Kalkenbrenner in today's matchup. We are ready for the opening tip, and there it is. Series history includes the last seven games that have been decided by eight points or less. Shooters going to be the name of the game today for the Blue Jays. Kalkenbrenner, who can play face up as well as post up and pass out of the post so very well, setting that pick for Alexander. Baseline extended and he knocks it down. Well, that is his bread and butter right there. Forder got into the passing lane. Good to see Mason Miller making some hustle plays. Hasn't shot the ball nearly as well. Hasn't scored in three games. But early on, seeing him making winning basketball plays. Shireman with the lingering iron kind. Yeah, Jason Green is a rebounding beast out there. Yep. Shireman will work that. Shasha Chani trying to stay with Kalkbrenner. It does a nice job. But the save out to Shireman. Up against the clock and Drano. Boy, that's just Creighton's ability to, to make shots. John Gaffney also has uh, Lamar Simpson and Evan Barrows out there with him. But Tim, that's what the good officials do. I mean, they're going to let you talk to them. They're going to let you vent a little bit. And that's exactly what John Gaffney is. Farabello just Oh great pass on the post up he collected a double and knew right where to go downtown I think that's a, that's one of those that's okay. You're wide open defender goes down Those are the threes that Sean Miller wants Desmond Claude to take Alley-oop again for Kalkbrenner. Shireman has collected it on two occasions now. From the looks of it, it sounds like that replay. Zaker fans not love it. Yeah. Ashworth giving it up. Pick and roll time. There it is. One more time. Three straight lobs. You can't turn the ball over against Xavier. You see it even on made shots that they're looking to run. But so far, the Xavier Musketeers have been disruptive, and that defense has led to some offense. Shireman! Oh, oh, oh. Jackknife! The hurry. Wow! Oh, man. Boy, Baylor Shireman coming down the lane. He takes contact there to the face, and he just, he's looking to tear the rim off on this one. Sammy Hagar time! the last couple but he's done some winning things here this afternoon son of Mike Miller the outstanding player from Florida in years past Cochran has got to go to work here Usman with one foul already and he's got single coverage that that's going to be game over and that's a great job the career high 43 at DePaul 
Man, whether it's mid-range, it's shooting threes, it's making tough shots, he does a little bit of everything. Alexander on a blow-by. Boy, that's a smooth move, huh? Well, for Desmond Claude. And walked. There's a skip pass to Ashworth. Look how quickly well, Oliveri good, got Good dribble contain. That's tough, especially with that flare screen and then still containing the bounce with a guy that can shoot it. There it is again. This time he uses the window off the lob from Alexander. And 27-26, he's got eight and four right now. Off the curl, Ashworth giving it up to Kalkbrenner again. Feed and fan the big fella. Up and over, Sasha Chani. And there's that one over, but Kalkbrenner with his footwork going to work at the block. And he left McKnight alone. Shireman clears it. And off to the races we go. Four on two. Miller! He has had a game here, and that's his first bucket. It would have been decided by eight or fewer points. If you can get this as the 4-5 game at the yeah. Big East Tournament, I mean, sign us up right now. Indeed. Quarterfinals at the Big East are unbelievable. Yes. Ashworth. Oh, a little scoop to the hoop. This has been great. The defense a little off in their view. Losing two really tough games, particularly the one at home to Butler. A well, night when Thad Modestine just could not miss. Oh, my Great goodness. work by Shireman again. Could not miss. Oh, my Great goodness. work by Shireman again. He was behind the backboard. This is the second time oh. that we've seen Trey Alexander make a play like this on the inbound. You can't get lazy with those passes. Miller spotting up for the tray. That's a huge sequence. Is, is at its best. Well, as important as this game is to Creighton because they want to avoid a three-game losing streak, ranked 19th. Xavier needs a home win big time today. They may need it more than Creighton. Oh, that's going to be basket yeah, interference. Yeah, yeah. Gold has to be Alexander. Disturbing stat against a team as efficient offensively as Creighton. Kaufbrenner. One on one again. Absolutely. No double coming, and he knows what to do with it with yeah, the jump hook. That's for a thousand people here. This is uh, early in the second half, yes, but a critical possession that does not go. Xavier's way. Alexander end to end. Miss Miller upset that the ball he felt was deflected on the way out and should have remained on the other end of the floor. It did not. A good screen by Ashworth. Beautiful oh, play. Oh, big time. It's just that little rip screen, and you got offensively elite, is what Creighton is. Oh, it could not get the runner to fall. Shireman to the trailer. What a beautiful move. And understanding where you are on the floor. Johnny. A bucket here, and they'll go wild. Oliveri not to be. Shireman clears. That's a tough one. He's he's a tough out. one, and look what happens. Oh, boy. You better get back. Floor. Claude. Boy, the crowd wanted a foul on Alexander. Did not get him. Look at him sneak out again. Miller again. Bingo! 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 They have so many weapons from the three-point line. Johnny getting physical with Shireman. No big deal. He just... The perimeter. Okay. And, and you always know the spacing for Creighton yeah. is going to be fantastic. Brenner with the rebound and a putback and the foul to go with it. The hoot down to a Baker's dozen. Xavier needs some stops here. The points in the paint have certainly stood out. They've done a good job on Creighton shooters, but they're going to have to lock down on some of these dribble drives. What do you know? Uh oh, yeah. Green slip and home for Deuce. And the quick bucket that time does not fall, and Shireman brings it up again. It's going up, folks. And it's going in. I, I just think it's hilarious that the fast break number. You have to score with them. That's so true. If you want to beat them. They force you to do that. There's the alley-oop to Kalkbrenner again. I thought Ashworth had the floater. He also for Davion McKnight. Lead down to 11. It had gotten up to 20. Ashworth navigating his way screen. baseline yeah. and Colt Brenner. He sealed the way again. We've now remaining in the game. 
defense a high priority for the X-Men. Oh! Ashworth, count it. What a big time possession. Uh, two three point possessions that are needed. Creighton's upcoming schedule. Georgetown, yes, but look at that. Butler, then UConn. They're all so tough. It is opportunity, though. Yes, it is. But it also can be very daunting when you're looking at that. McKnight launches a train. And that big drought at the end of the first half, beginning of the second, really the difference in this Blue Jays win. Much needed for them after losing two in a row, ranked 19th in the country. Well, even though Xavier always had a response for these Creighton runs, the Blue Jays did enough early in this game. Like you said, before half, and then the way that that man played right there. Ryan Kalkbrenner, fabulous today. Creighton getting a massive, massive quad one road win here this afternoon. I'm glad you had an international career, but I'm even happier that you decided to share your professional exploits in this business with us. No, I appreciate Fox. that. No, I, hey, this, this is an unbelievable job. Unbelievable conference the Big East not much better happy to be here have a good game tomorrow the Penn State and Northwestern coming up I know on the Big Ten Network well for Robbie Hummel our entire crew this is Tim Brando wishing you a good afternoon from Cincinnati our thanks to Fran Morrison our producer today our director Darren Foster Sherrod Leviscar an outstanding AD and Jeff Nelson who was in for Ethan Cooperson today for all of them we'll send you to Rob Stone and Laval Jordan in LA after this Bye-bye, everybody.